Renowned economist Karezi Murimi passed on suddenly last night from what doctors suspect could have been a heart attack. He was a regular analyst on TV and newspapers. KTN's Joy Doreen Bira now pays tribute to Karezi, who was a familiar face, especially on KTN. Uh, CS Treasury presented the budget uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, and basically there were three items which... Economist Karidhi Morimi was a respected presence in the Kenyan media as he analyzed various issues. This government has increased its rating, so you have excess government debt, uh, which then squeezes what you call available credit to private investors. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The newsrooms that he frequented ever so often to selflessly share his views got the news that this man was no more on Tuesday morning. Confirmed by his family, it was reported Marimi might have suffered a cardiac arrest late Monday evening in his living room as he watched primetime news. He was extremely concerned about different aspects of society and so he was able to relate the academic intellectual conversations that he engaged in with the ordinary lives of people and so he brought the economic conversations really down to the level of people who would then relate whatever was going on in those high places to their ordinary lives. I don't think we have an economist like him in the country that can break it down for the masses. We had him on checkpoint a number of times and each time he left not only um, you know, us who work here in the media, but our viewers were so thankful for how easy he made it uh, to understand matters of transparency, accountability, governance, the economy, um, and, you know, financial journalism. He had his facts right. He wore so many hats. I mean, getting such a replacement, it will take some time. A man of many hats, Karidhi was revered as brilliant, patriotic, honest man who exuded intellect and kindness with whoever he interacted with. Fellow economists, utterly shocked by the news of his demise, took to social media platform Twitter. Morimi formally described himself as CEO and team leader of JMG Strategy Innovations Limited, as well as a constitution and governance expert in strategic risk solutions. He had an MBA, General Management, from the University of Free State, was widowed, and is from Kianjiru in central Kenya. The cause of his death is still unknown as family and relatives still come to terms with his demise. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN News.